Melinda, here we are, middle of May already. What kind of marching orders do you have for us this weekend? First, we have a hanging basket clinic here at TLC today from 10 to 2. Bring a container of Christy and, and the gang's going to show us how to do these big, fabulous moss baskets. Mm -hmm. And you can come in and participate. It's a hands-on and they'll be doing it from 10 to 2. So come in and do that. And then if you don't want to do one and all that, there's some beautiful gardens to go already done. So mm -hmm. you can come by and pick one of those up and feed those containers. I, I'm going to harp on that more than usual, but with the amount of water we're watering and everything, the feed on those containers, you've got a whole lot of plants in a small space, mm -hmm. and they need more attention than the rest of them. And you might go in and deadhead those a little bit, too, because uh, the more you pinch them, the better they bloom. Well, it's time now for our garden guru to answer a viewer's question. This is an interesting one. Uh, Sharon is writing us from, she lives out in western Oklahoma, and she has little peaches on her peach tree for the first time. I guess the tree's it's about four tree. years old. And she's wanting to know what to do so the critters don't get them. Well, one of the things, uh, first I'd go to the extension office there, or I would uh, go online and print down the home fruit tree production and management. It gives you the spray schedules, it gives you when to fertilize and everything, but uh, just go to your OSU extension office and they'll have that, or you can go online and print it down. I think it's great. Well, time now for Best of Show, and if your picture is chosen for the week, you earn a $25 gift certificate right here to TLC. So I love, I love peonies, and this one too. is spectacular. I do too, and they were spectacular this year. They had the moisture through the winter, and they were mm -hmm. so ready to bloom, and they, and it was warm early, so they got a jump start. And every picture on the peonies, and I've gotten so many pictures this year. This is getting harder and harder to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to start having a voting to see who's going to win. But anyway, Connie from Weatherford uh, sent us this penny, and it's just absolutely gorgeous, and it's one of those favorite, my peak. Oh, it's just <laughs> incredible. It's beautiful. Congratulations to her. And that's all the time we have for today's show, but be sure and join us again next Saturday morning at 8 right here on News 9 for Let's Talk Gardening. Have a great weekend.